Good day, friends. Video three. This will be for Palm Sunday. So good day if you're viewing it later in the day as a supplement to our worship or good morning if you're viewing this uh, re relatively early in the morning. Uh, again, we're using this uh, chart that uh, is in the new uh, International Version Study Bible. And this came from the 25th anniversary uh, edition, although it was included, of course, in each edition. And so day three, yesterday and the day before, we looked at uh, both the arrival in Bethany and the, the Sabbath activities that were occurring while Jesus and his friends were resting. And uh, so we look at uh, number three, uh, the Sunday events, the triumphal entry. And the note here says, it gives you uh, several readings, of course, from each of the Gospels. Matthew 21, beginning with verse 1, Mark 11, beginning with verse 1, Luke 19, chapter 19, beginning at verse 28, and uh, the readings from John that I'll be sharing today. And so the note here says, On the first day of the week, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, fulfilling the ancient prophecy from Zechariah 9.9. 9. The crowd welcomed him with Hosanna and the words of Psalm 118, verses 25 through 26, thus ascribing to him a messianic title as the agent of the Lord, the coming King of Israel. And so may God add a rich blessing to the reading of his word as we resume with verse 12 of chapter 12 of John's Gospel. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him, so that the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went out to meet him. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. May God add a rich blessing to the reading of his words. The Roman conquerors, when they rode in, would usually ride on magnificent steeds. Jesus, in accordance with the prophecy, sat on a donkey, the colt of a donkey, the foal of a donkey, as a sign of great humility. So the kind of kingship that he exemplifies is in stark contrast to the kind of kingship that we see with conquering Roman officers riding in victoriously, or the Caesars, the various uh, leaders of uh, the Roman people. So he comes in with great humility and the thing that struck me as I was just reading this is that last verse from verse 19. The Pharisees said to one another, you see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. And uh, that's a really prophetic verse because Jesus is the light of the world, as we see at the beginning of John's gospel. So even his detractors at this point have to confess who Jesus is when the crowd says, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And so for Palm Sunday, hymn 108 from the LBW. All glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer King. To whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. You are the King of Israel and David's royal son. Now in the Lord's name coming, our King and Blessed One. 
All glory, laud, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. The company of angels are passing you on high. Creation and all mortals in chorus make reply. All glory, laud, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. The multitude of pilgrims with palms before you went, our praise and prayer and anthems before you we present. All glory, laud, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children make sweet hosannas ring. To you before your passion they sang their hymns of praise. To you now high exalted our melody we raise. All glory, laud, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Their praises you accepted, accept the prayers we bring. Great author of all goodness, our good and gracious King. All glory, laud, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. And so God be with you until we can be together again for Monday's video. Since I'm recording these all at one time, these first three, wow, time seems to be flying by. God be with you.